Leonardo AI comes out with another game-changing update and new feature, and it's called Motion. It is really awesome and it's really impressive. Introducing Motion, our cutting-edge new feature to revolutionize your process with one-click generative videos so any image that you create can now be brought to life. And I have an amazing prompt generator at the end of the video, so make sure to watch till the end. Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about the newest update of Leonardo AI, which is Motion. It's a step by step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. So right now, as you can see, this is my previous work right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you how you could go ahead and do this easily. As I've mentioned earlier, you could go ahead and do this with just one click. So first of all, this is the main page right here of Leonardo AI, and you will go ahead and be greeted with this page once you go ahead and create a new account. You can go ahead and see multiple settings right here. For example, we have our image generation, you have your real-time canvas, you have your canvas editor, and you have your motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you could easily use motion using Leonardo AI. So just an example, I'm gonna go ahead and pick on any of the examples that we have right here. And I have chosen this photo right here, inspiration. Just go ahead and click on any of the image that you want to go ahead and motion right here. Well, I want this one and we will go ahead and see these three buttons right here. We have our image to motion, we have our image to image, and we have our remix. And of course, what you want to go ahead and click is this first button right here called image to motion. Just go ahead and click on image to motion. But before we actually go ahead and click on it, I want to go ahead and explain you that you can go ahead and see a lot more information around right here. You have your negative prompts, you have your input resolution, you have your date created, you have your pipeline, you have your seed presets in its trend, and you have your fine tune model. Of course, if you want to go ahead and take this image as an inspiration or you want to go ahead and create an image similar to this one, you could just go ahead and look at the multiple properties that we have right here. But moving on, just go ahead and click on image to motion and you will go ahead and see this pop-up message. Right here we have our motion strength. This setting determines the amount of movement added to the original image and we have our visibility. Of course, just go ahead and leave this at public. You cannot go ahead and leave this at private if you are using a free account. But the good thing about image to motion, you can still use this feature even though you have a free account. So just go ahead and choose your motion strength right here. If you are trying to animate something like close up shots, I suggest moving this slider down, maybe below 4 or just exactly 4. But for example, if you are animating a scenery, I suggest moving this slider all the way to 7 or maybe 6. Just go ahead and experiment what works best. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this at 4 and of course, you will be using coins to generate this animation. Right now, the cost of making these animations is 25 so you just have to keep that in mind if you are using a free account. Of course, if you want to go ahead and move on, just go ahead and click on generate. Go ahead and click on view generation. After that, it will take a minute or less and your animation will pop up here. So right now, it just finished loading in. Let's go ahead and preview this. As you can see, it did an amazing job, but if you want to go ahead and make it a bit stronger, because this animation is in the lighter side, so it's not moving that much. But if you want to go ahead and download this clip right away, you could go ahead and do so by clicking on the download MP4. And of course, if you want to go ahead and animate your very own generations right here, you could go ahead and do so. So right now, I have this multiple generations right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick on any of this. For example, we have this beautiful image right here of a street. I am just gonna go ahead and click on it and just go ahead and click on image to motion and it will go ahead and animate this photo. So, now that you know how to use Leonardo AI Motion, 
I'm going to teach you how you could go ahead and generate your very own prompts to fully maximize this feature that's called motion. Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and head on over to ChatGPT. You could just go ahead and use the free version of ChatGPT, which is GPT 3.5. You don't need to get the paid version of ChatGPT in order to go ahead and generate your own prompts. So I have made this prompt right here. You are a master prompt engineer, the best in the world. You can engineer any sorts of prompt based simply off a descriptive keyword or a subject. So what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and copy everything inside this document right here and paste it straight to ChatGPT and just go ahead and hit on enter. You will go ahead and see this response right here. Yes, I understand. Please go ahead and provide the number corresponding to the style you'd like and share the subject you have in mind for the prompt. Once you provided that information, I'll craft eight different version of detailed and creative prompts for you based on the chosen style and subject. So what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and select any of this style right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the eternal styles. So just go ahead and type your number and right after that, go ahead and type your subject. So once you go ahead and enter, ChatGPT will provide us 8 different prompts right here that we could go ahead and use. We have our mystic jungle guardian right here. Create an eternal scene where a majestic tiger emerges from the vibrant glowing foliage of a mystical jungle. We also have our celestial tiger in the night sky. We have our eternal water reflection. We have our aurora borealis tiger. You have your whisper of the tiger spirit. But I'm gonna go ahead and select this fourth one right here, aurora borealis tiger. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the entire section right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it inside Leonardo AI. So it is very important to choose your very own fine tune model. And what works best for me is Leonardo Albedo Base XL. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this one and I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate. So here are the images that we got. I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you guys. I'm also going to go ahead and generate the second prompt right here, Celestial Tiger in the Night Sky. And this is the image that we got. So if you want to go ahead and enter another subject using this prompt, what you want to go ahead and type is So after typing this prompt right here, just go ahead and send message and it will go ahead and repeat the same process. As you can see, it is now listing all of the styles that we have. We have your eternal bioluminescent and more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose another subject right here. Let's go for the cinematic style and let's go ahead and enter our subject. And once again we have and once again we have our and once again we have our prompt right here. Just go ahead and copy your preferred prompt and just go ahead and paste it inside Leonardo AI. And we got our image right here. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and enter another example right here. And while this image is loading in, I'm gonna go ahead and animate our images right here using motion. Just go ahead and click on generate motion video right here and it will instantly generate our motion. For the second prompt, we got this beautiful images right here. I am also going to go ahead and generate a motion video for this one. So guys, thank you for watching and if this video has been helpful for you, please consider by liking and subscribing. I'll make sure to see you again next time. Thank you.